My bike tech tips are very short videos of bike maintenance, and in this case, bike setup, to help you get the most performance out of your bike. And in this one, we'll be talking about setting the saddle height on your bike. There are numerous ways to get your saddle at the optimal height to include measuring your inseam, multiplying that number times the formula, even measuring the exact bend of your knee. But this is the quick method that I find very accurate and the one that I use very often. This quick method comes in handy if you're traveling and you have to remove the seat post from your bike. Maybe you're demoing a bike and you want to get the saddle height set quickly. Or maybe you're just unsure of your saddle height and you want to set it quickly without going through a lot of complication. Before I show you this, I just want to say that if you ever have the opportunity and privilege to get a professional bike fit, I would recommend doing so. To get your measurement for this method, you want to put the pedal the furthest distance from the saddle, so all the way down and it's usually about that position, about the 5 to 5.30 position. And again, that's the furthest distance from the saddle to the pedal. The nice thing about this method is you can do it in one place if you're leaning up against the wall or a workbench, or you can even do it when you're out on a ride. Because another application for using this method is checking your saddle height when you're riding, especially on a mountain bike, if you think maybe your seat post has slipped down in the frame. So what you're gonna do is take your foot off the pedal, so unclip, or if you're wearing flats, just put, remove your foot, then put your heel on the pedal. And like I showed, you want that pedal to be the furthest distance from your saddle. Your leg should be pretty much locked out. You might be able to get a little bit of bend in your knee, but not much. Then you wanna pedal backwards, and you should be able to pedal backwards without the heel coming off the pedal and without having to rock your hips over to the side. So stay straight on your saddle, pedal backwards, and again, the heel should remain in contact with the pedal without coming off. So if you can bend your knee without rocking over to the side, then your saddle is a little bit too low. If the heel comes off the pedal when you pedal backwards, or again, if you have to lean over to the side to keep it in contact with the pedal, then your saddle is too high and you need to lower it. So again, once the saddle is in the perfect position, your leg should be locked out without bending the knee and without the heel coming off the pedal, staying straight on the saddle. So that's the quick and easy way of properly setting the saddle height of your bike to get the most power out of your pedal stroke. So I find that when comparing that method to other methods like measuring your knee bend or using a tape measure to measure your inseam, I find it to be very accurate. Just as a note, I set my saddle the same height for my cyclocross bike, my gravel bike, my cross country mountain bike, and my trail bike, because like I said, the proper height will get you the most power out of your pedal stroke. And thanks to dropper seat posts on trail bikes, you can lower the saddle when you need to get it out of the way. And finally, I wanna mention a general rule with saddle height, and that is if you're getting pain on the front of your knee, your saddle may be a little bit too low, and if you're getting pain behind your knee, your saddle may be a little bit too high. Questions or comments, drop them below. If this tip was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more bike tech tips. And make sure to hit that bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.